Good day everyone. Our lesson for today is the part 2 of the discussion about this simple annuity. In the first part, I dis already discussed about the future value or when the future value is missing. So in part 2, I'll be going to discuss the uh, in answering a problem when the present value is missing. So when the present value is missing, we need to consider this formula. So P equals R quantity 1 minus quantity plus 1, uh, 1 plus j raised to negative n over j. So we will use this formula. So we need to find r first, j and n in the problem or yeah, in the problem and then we can solve for the p or the present value. So we need to consider the following. So n equals mt, that is the total number of conversion period. mt is the frequency conversion and t is time in years. And J equals I over M, which is the nominal rate divide the frequency conversion period, which is what we call the rate per conversion conversion period. So given that we must given that in R equals periodic payment, I equals nominal rate, M equals frequency conversion, and N T uh, T equals time in years. So we have this given first. Okay. Uh, later on, you will uh, understand what this M is all about, but on the previous videos, I already discussed about M and time in years. Okay, let's have this problem. Suppose Mrs. Garcia would like to know the present value of her monthly deposit of 3000 when interest is 9% compounded monthly. So, si Mrs. Grace, Grace, uh, Garcia daw ay nagbibigay or naguhulog no? ng uh, 3000 uh, every month, so maybe in a bank, siguro, uh, na may 9% compounded monthly. So, ang hinahanap natin is the present va value or, or the principal. So, how much is the present value of her savings at the end of 6 months? So, si Mrs. Garcia ay naguhulog ng 3000 for 6 months. That is 18000 Okay? But, what is now the present value of her savings? So, first write the problem and then given R equals 3000, I equals 9% or 0 0.09, M equals 12, and T equals 0 0.5. To solve for N, we have the formula MT. Multiply M, which is the frequency conversion period times time in years. So, we have 12 times 0 0.5 and the answer is 6. For the next one, we have J equals I over M, which is I is 0 0.09 divided M, which is 12, and the answer is 0 0.0075. Now we can solve for the uh, P. So write first the new given on our problem. So R is 3000, the solve N is 6, and the solve J is 0 0.0075. So this is the formula that I've uh, presented a while ago. So we will just substitute the given to the formula, and we will have this one. Now, if you are using now a cell phone, please follow me. Please type on your cell phone, 1 minus, close, uh, open parenthesis, plus, uh, 1 plus 0 0.0075, close parenthesis, raised to negative 6. I repeat, 1 minus, open parenthesis, 1 plus 0 0.0075, close parenthesis, raised to negative 6. Click equals. Alright, after that, divide 0 0.0075, click equals. Alright, after that, times 3000. I repeat, times 3000. Then click equals. And you will get 17,536.79. Round off your answer to the nearest Hundreds. So that is the present value of the savings of Mrs. Uh, Garcia from her monthly deposit which is equal to 3000 for 6 months. Now, another problem. Mr. Reyes paid 200,000 as down payment for a car. So nagbayad siya ng 200,000 as down payment kasi bumili siya ng car. The remaining amount is to be settled by paying 16,200 at the end of each month for 5 years. So 
uh, for 5 years, yung remaining amount na babayaran niya dun sa kotse ay magbabayad siya ng 16,200 every month for 5 years. If interest is 10.5% compounded monthly, what is the cash price of his car? So, ang hinahanap is cash price. Pag sabing cash price, you're talking also the the ano ha, the present value or the principal. First, so solve muna natin yung principal bago natin hanapin yung cash price. Okay? So, to solve for the principal, write the given. So, we have R is 16,200. That is the periodic payment. Every month, I equals 10.5% or 0.105. M is 12 because it is compounded monthly. And T equals 5, which is 5 years. So, for the N, we have MT. So, we have 12 times 5 and the answer is 60. So, for the J, we have I over N. That is 0 0.105 divided 12. And that is 0 0.00875. Then, write the new given. So, we have R equals 16,200. N equals 60. And J equals 0 0.00875. Okay, so ito na yung mga given natin. So, this is our formula a while ago that we've been using the example number 1. So, just substitute the given to the formula. So, this will be now our given, uh, our formula, okay, with the given. So, on your calculator, please, uh, on your, uh, sa cell phone nyo, type na lang. Please follow me. 1 minus, open parenthesis, 1 plus 0 0.00875 close parenthesis, raise to negative 60. Then, click equals. Alright. Then, divide to 0 0.00875, then click equals. Correct. Then, multiply to 16,200, then click equals. So, what is now the present value of the car? It's 753,702.20 round of your answer to the nearest hundreds. So, this is the principal of the car for 5 years kung magbabayad ka ng 16,200. But, what is now the cash price? Wala pa yung cash price kasi kung natatandaan nyo, nag naghulog or nag-down payment ng 200,000 si Mr. Reyes. Therefore, we will just add the down payment plus the present value. So, yun na solve natin 753,702.20 and the down payment is 200,000. So, the cash value is 953,702.20. So, that's all about the uh, solving simple annuity part 2 when the present value is missing. The part 3 of our lesson, uh, which is all about simple annuity, annuity, is when the periodic payment is missing. So, magkano naman yung ihuhulog mo kung given yung future value or given yung present value. That will be our next topic for this, uh, for the next video. With that, thank you very much for listening. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Bye!